shadowy journey starts through concrete catacombs toward the subterranean city that is the heart of the strategic air command and the pulse of the free world's greatest power for peace. Long as a football field, high as a two-story building, the operation's map room is the nerve center of Sachs' hidden city. Here, deep under the cattle country south of Omaha, Nebraska, Sack fights its bloodless deterrent war. Here, closed circuit television cameras focus on giant panels 20 feet high, 8 feet wide, used to brief staff officers on weather and intelligence data vital to command decisions. There are 49 panels in all, most of them hidden from sight. For the hidden panels contain Sack's emergency attack plan. The panels are constantly changing as SAC aircraft, an average of 300 an hour are airborne, are plotted and other global information updated. Clocks high overhead indicate the time in strategic cities around the world. This is a place of never-ending vigil, equipped with all the wonders of the electronic world. TV cameras seem to be here, there, and everywhere. In the SAC television control room, each camera is monitored on a 17-inch screen. Camera switching, programming, and selection are controlled here. And contact is kept with the North American Defense Command, NORAD for short, which tracks all unidentified aircraft penetrating our hemisphere. SAC's famous red telephone, after such a report from NORAD, can trigger in 30 seconds the launching of aircraft at 70 bases on four continents. Should it be necessary, the underground can be sealed off for 30 days. It has its own independent air filtering machinery, power system, water supply, and food rations. SAC must be ready to deal such quick, devastating retaliation that no nation will dare attack America. The largest weather forecasting operation in the world is part of SAC's constant combat readiness. Every 12 hours, a new forecast is issued and transmitted by facsimile machines to all bases. Flight crews can then find takeoff weather, winds en route, and expected weather at touchdown. The SAC base message center throbs night and day with coded messages dealing with the 3,000 aircraft and 258,000 men and women of the Strategic Air Command. The single sideband office is perhaps the most amazing of SAC's global communications network. It enables personnel, whether on the ground or in aircraft, to be patched into telephone lines and speak by phone to anyone anywhere on Earth. Should direct telephone contact be lost between SAC headquarters and any of its bases, the single side band system can be used as an instantaneous secondary means of communication. Communication with far-flung bases like Westover Air Force Base in Massachusetts, where on runway alert stand the mammoth B-52s that are the backbone of the Strategic Air Command. But just as important as each jet giant are the men who fly them the combat-ready crews living in low-slung concrete alert barracks beside the runway. One week each month, the strike crew lives, works, and relaxes together, always in each other's sight. They never know when the klaxon horn will sound the alert, and when, as one, they must streak to their ship. of what they may one day be called upon to do weighs heavily on their minds. Each finds in his own way some form of forgetting. Advanced courses of study fill out for some the long hours on alert. 
Your crews must be up at 5.30 and on the job at half past seven. So it is day after day at SAC bases everywhere. Men poised. Aircraft ready. Ready to strike anywhere in the world should the message come that would send SAC headquarters into action. A message that might be something like the one you are about to hear. Listen. This is the site liaison officer at NORAD. I would like to draw your attention to the tracks that you have on your monitor. At this time, we have 10 aircraft over Alaska at 35,000 feet, traveling 480 knots. NORAD has no possibilities on these aircraft. We have 15 aircraft that are about to penetrate the northeastern portion of Canada. Attention all bases, attention all bases. This is Iron Hand, this is Iron Hand. This is a SAC alert. I repeat, this is a SAC alert. Authentication is hijacked. Hijack. All stations acknowledge at the count of five. One. SAC two, bases around three, the world acknowledge four, and repeat the five. fateful words. This is Hound Dog. Break, break. future of freedom-loving people everywhere rests squarely on the shoulders of the men of the Strategic Air Command. Men with a mission. Peace. Men like these. Sometime John George Zukowski, age 38, Detroit, Michigan. Captain Jim Hackett, age 33, Seattle, Washington. Master Sergeant Kenneth Olson, age 36, Richfield, Minnesota. Major Edward McCartney, age 32, Superior, Wisconsin. Major Frank Vance, age 35, Birmingham, Alabama. This concludes today's presentation of A&E Classroom. Thank you for watching. Please join us again on the next A&E Classroom. The preceding program is part of Cable in the Classroom, a free service of the cable telecommunications industry and your local cable company.